Howdy right, y'all, welcome back to Dead Trust to Play MechWarrior 5. Let's get going. So we're looking at Bringer Home Part 3. Uh, everybody is okay. And uh, a little birdie told me Part 4 is a 400 tonner, so we're going to need to ton up a little bit here for the next one. Although 340, we might want to do that now. Let's give it a look. 340, so that's what, 80 tons in each? 80, 80, 80. Okay, so we might be okay with this set. So what I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to run 3 and 4 today. And then next episode, I think, is going to be modified. Let's grab our C-bills. Take a damage coverage. All right, so we need to ton up a bit. And I'm probably gonna swap out Pretty Baby here for the Atlas. Yep, 10 days, that's fine. I can ton up a little bit. Probably ton me up. Let's see what we got. I could take the Warhammer. I haven't used it yet. That's a no, that's not. That's swapping like for like. Sure, let's do that, and I don't think I've got an... I could take Pretty Baby instead. Now let's do it this way. Let's see what we got here for the... In fact, let's check the Warhammer real fast, because I'm sure I've got it set up for... All right, so everybody's in a chain. I set it up as, as though I were going to pick it up. All right, so the peeps on one, mediums on two, LRMs on four. Uh, in fact, I'm going to put you on three, uh, just because it suits my play style to shoot missiles before machine guns. And then I'll put those on four. So if anybody gets up close on us, uh, in fact, I'm not even going to group you. We're just going to light you up with machine guns. And let's go. We'll wait. Okay, Commander. The Mystery Attackers Logistics Center is just ahead. Our job is to kick up as much of a shitstorm as possible to draw them out and keep them distracted while Samantha infiltrates the data server. Make a good show of force, but be sure to fall back once all the main objective marks are destroyed. There we go. Okay, that's working pretty well. Can I get you from the with there with the machine guns? That's actually that's shredding pretty good. Okay. That's not too shabby. Let's check our map. Alright. Everybody on these guys. And let's uh let's get down the ridge there. Alright, so a little scuffed up, but not bad. Hope everybody's doing well this morning. I'm doing just fine. We're gonna come down and get this guy real quick. Alright, so, yep, machines are there. Cooling is okay. I imagine if I really go off on the PVCs that that'll become a problem, but so far, so good. Alright, there we go. I've almost made it to the data vault. Let's just Whatever slide on over here. Oop, dropship. I just need you to buy me some more time. Take out those other installations. Shadowhawk. Okay. Let's get it up here and... Yeah. Ah, 
Ah, missed them on both. That stings a little bit. Alright. Gotta go easy now. There we go. We're gonna put the machine guns on him. You know what? I feel like I might have been sleeping on these guys. We're up close. Because that's... That's really wrecking. Let's get that Vulcan. Let's see if we can open them up a little bit. Alright, I'm pretty red here. Charger, you guys get him. I'm gonna get out of here. Oh, got him in the head. Alright. Machine guns range is a uh, 180, okay, so we're alright. Oh, just missed him there. That one hurts a little. Good, get this guy. Target destroyed. All right, everybody on me. Alright, so I'm a little scuffed up. I'm going to try and hang back just a bit. Everybody else in pretty good shape. Uh, but I imagine I've been drawing the most aggro as well. Yeah, machine guns are pretty good. If you've got somebody opened up, you got to get right up in on them, though. Walk on up to the treasure to pick it up. Yeah, sure. Why not? We're following you, Commander. That's close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. Hostile mech ahead. All right, well, let's light him up. Okay, so we just sit here and drop some missiles on him. Go. All right, get that Phoenix Hawk. <laughs> Good shot there <laughs> from the boar's head. Didn't even see it shot, pop on radar. Antaro. Uh -huh. Okay. We're going to slow down a bit. And get you. We're going to let the Atlas go in there and get some work done. Missed him. Alright, let's get this guy. Oh, there we go. Down a leg. Yeah, that's pretty good. Gotta say. Alright, I hear him. There's one. Gotcha. All right. What do we got in here? All right. That worked pretty well. Uh, the Alice is a little scuffed up like I am, but everybody is, in general, okay. I guess we blew everything up in here. That's fine. Yeah, alright. So let's light them up. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's get going then. Nice job with your diversion back there. You're a natural. 
I was able to extract exabytes worth of encrypted data from these guys. It's still in the decryption process, so no word on who's responsible for the attack on my father. That's right, I'll get this guy. One thing that is clear is that this data was sourced from deep within Combine Space. So that'd be a good place to start looking. Combine Space. There may be right, there's one. We realized, Commander. Let's regroup and see what turns up in that data. Alright, let's get that charger. I'm gonna put the, put the machine guns on him. There we go. Walking and a shadow hawk. Let's see if we can make a hole in his back. There we go. Coordinating on target ID. Oh, there you are. Who's coming up here? All right, I'll get you. Almost. There we go. All right, you guys take care of him. I'll get on the way. Ooh, the Atlas is pretty scuffed up. Tell you what, I'll do it this way. All right, there we go. Moving into formation. All right, now weapons free. Oh no, weapons toggled. Come on, let's go, fellas. You want to skip that? And we'll begin the recovery procedure. All right, we got to go down the hill. Probably can't get up over that. That's okay. Oof. Horse head's pretty scuffed up. I wonder if we lost something. It's not in the red though, so. There he is. Lost a medium laser. Okay. Man, he got center he got center mass a bunch. Pretty good. I like the I like the Warhammer with the big pile of machine guns. It's nice. I wish I had the higher tier ones. I should have kept them instead of sold them off early on. Uh, it's much more effective at a couple hundred meters. Let's look over that data. All right. We're just doing cash, so I don't think much is going to come up out of this one. It's all right. We'll see. I guess these are okay gets uh, for the where we should be in the game for that. Pretty good 20. All right, we'll take that AC-10, unless there's something in here that lights up for a cantina. That's uh, a negative. 500,000, that's not bad. That's, that's in the neighborhood of our damage coverage. So let's go ahead, because I know I'm going to have to have heavier mechs. So we're going to drop some stuff out here in the in the 60s. Probably we'll drop the Orions. If it's a generally a four, 400 tonner, and I have no reason to believe that it's not. And we're going to take you out. And I guess we're going to take the crab. We'll put tens in here, I think, this time. So we'll have two atlases, a crab, and actually might take Agincourt. It's pretty good. Uh, not super wild about the Zeus, although it's not a bad loadout. Maybe we'll take the Zeus. Alright, so let's move some stuff around. You go there, you go into the bay. 
you just need to be refit, can we? Yes. Refit, we're gonna put you on one. All right, we're gonna run through this real quick. I think I'm gonna give you an LB if I've got one. Because I want a little bit of range on you. Yeah, I've got a good solid, okay. There we go. And for missiles, could give you a 20. I think, the, I think the 15 is kind of the sweet spot, though. Give you a 15 Artemis. Okay. Two larges. What do I got here in the large range? What are we running at? 600. Could give you the short bursts. I only have the one. I would like a matched pair. Okay, two of those. If I give you a couple of mediums. And yeah, pulse lasers are hard to come by. The 310, I give you those right in the center. I'm going to give you two bins of Artemis. It's a 15, yeah, it's maybe a little overkill. Uh, let's max your armor real quick. And then, how are we looking here? There's 120 rounds. I think I want to give you another one. Buck 60. I think that's more than sufficient. Uh, you're going to go into the engine. Put you here, I can do that. Still have 15 tons. Good lord. Okay, let's uh, let's go up on missiles. I've got a 20 Artemis. Or a tier 5. Let's do that. And... Let's get in on... Still have 12 tons. That is incredible. Probably because it's it's really looking for a heavy, a large here instead of a medium. All right, so put a little bit of cooling in. Get LRM. We've got enough ammo for days. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible for cooling. Um, <laughs> I probably don't even need to take the doubles if I'm going to do that, to be honest. Uh, I can just put you on the torso. Hey, <laughs> uh, we're still three tons. Okay. Um, super, super overcooled. Let's take... Uh, and two bins should be plenty, right? Let's take another bin. Four bins of LB. There's no way we're going to get through that. Alright, let's do that. Especially with a AI pilot. Let's get you going. Now... It's probably not going to work, but that's an incredible amount of AC-10s. Everybody gets one bin. It's probably... We could forego the missiles and do that. Let's generate very little heat. Put a double and a double and take one more bin. Now you're just my mid-ranger. Let's see, if I drop you... What do I got in the way of LBs while I'm at it? 12 tons versus 11 tons. Got four of those. What happens if we do that?
That might be it. Still have five tons to go. Can't really do anything for missiles if we do that. You know what? That's okay. We've got missile support elsewhere. I guess we could put a couple of fives in there, right? With a bin. That would be six. A five and a five string. What do you got in the market? I could put some SRMs on him. There's a four. And then give it a ton. That's not bad. I wouldn't want to get close to that guy. Yeah, I can't do the threes because that would be six tons. Two, four, five. I could drop a heat sink, but I think that's going to be okay. Yeah, let's roll with that. And then you guys need to be repaired. And we'll send it out that way. Uh, let's pick up Bring Her Home Part 4. Thanks for your help, Commander. While you were raiding that facility, I was able to uncover more details on this group that's been attacking us. I still don't know who they are or who they're working for, but I was able to identify their base of operations even deeper in combined space. The base is stationed in a remote polar region of Riesling's planet, constantly plagued by extreme weather and far from any civilian population. This makes the base all but invisible to those that do not already know it's there. But I believe these same conditions make it vulnerable to attack. Using the same extreme weather as a shield, I believe we could advance on the base by mech and remain undetected. With this, we can finally find our answers and put a stop to this mystery threat once and for all. Heavy fog. Okay. And I guess we've got to travel for that one. Bring her home. We want to track that one. Beat the system. Reason planet. One hop. Off we go. Still think we're going to need to wait a bit to finish the refit, but we'll see. How long? 60 days. Yeah, we can live with that. That's fine. Let's pay our bill. There we go. Four hundred. Bring her home. Well, let's do it. Uh, we'll take C bill, maybe two this time. And what am I gonna take? I kind of want to take that. And the Zeus and the KR. That puts us at 380. Yep, that's where we are. Uh, I could swap out Pretty Baby for the Zeus. Nah, let's leave it as is. We'll go 20 under. Should be alright. And I don't really have a favorite here. I might just bounce around between mechs. Alright, you're on chain and you're on chain. That is fine. Oh, I should look at you guys real quick. Yeah, large, then medium, then... Okay, good. I guess it keeps it from the last time it's been set. I don't really need that to be chain fire. I'm not going to hop into it. Alright. The LBs and you haven't changed. All right. Yeah, you don't need to be grouped. As I understand it, the AI fires them in group anyway, whether they're set that way or not. Let's go. Commander, incoming message from Samantha. The decryption process is taking longer than I had anticipated. 
but without a doubt, the data originated here. I'll see if I can make any more headway in deciphering this. Maybe it can tell us something useful. In the meantime, I want you to take these bastards down. It's time they learn no one messes with House Cole. You heard the lady. Targeted location has been marked. Okay, is this the one where we get the full stop command? I think it is. Right up here past this mark. Rihanna's going to tell us come to a complete stop. I think I remember this one. And then you can go... Uh, it will take the path along to the left, which is a little bit longer. If it doesn't set off the base right off the bat. Yeah. Forty-eight kph though is gonna be a little bit chuggy. Yeah, I think this doesn't trigger as quickly as it should, because the last time I played this I got a little bit up the hill before I got the hey stop where you're going. Like I was almost over the uh, almost crested the hill and was ready to set the base off. Trigger it. Stop moving now. I've just seen schematics of the base. It's heavily fortified, and you are within a hair of triggering its perimeter defenses. A full frontal assault would trigger alarms and put the base on high alert, leading to increased resistance. What do you suggest, Rihanna? Samantha's briefing mentioned a path along the edge of the base. It's a longer detour, but we can potentially catch them by surprise if we take it. I strongly suggest the path of least resistance here, Commander, though the choice is yours. That seems a little weird given the existence of, you know, radios, but sure. I think you can also get the... the comm beacon that's jamming everything. The, some, the ECM, I think that's part of this. We'll see. Mech spotted. All right, light them up. Engaging commander's target. For the good of the great provinces, you must be destroyed. Oh yeah. They destroyed one of my components. Wow, that's the stuff. Alright, we're gonna get right back in here. Where are you? Alright. A little bit scuffed up, but... <laughs> okay, I like the I like the quad LBs, that's pretty good. Alright, we'll we'll stick along here. Everybody on me. I guess I could take them off a group and fire them all at once. Uh, Invalid target. In fact, I'm going to let's uh, let me do that too. We seem to be really good for heat. Uh, we just have to be a little more careful about placing our shots. I picked up a signal resembling the trace on you. That Destroy would be it. That yep. <laughs> Before anyone decides to pay you a visit. Nice shot, Lance. I didn't even get one off. This is a cool level. Target 
That's incredible. <laughs> wow. That's really good. Alright. Let's bring it up again. A couple let me go along here so we have a little bit of room to maneuver. So yeah, while we're while we're walking. I don't know if the very next playthrough is gonna start off modded, because I haven't loaded all the mods and make sure everything works yet but pretty much decided to go with a to start fresh and go with a modded playthrough <laughs> you got another mech lab um, cockpit glass uh, some quality of life stuff like the uh, the heat meter that has uh, colors on it get another mech lab I guess being the biggest one uh, the coyote mission pack if I can figure out how to get that going because I don't see it on the Steam Workshop, just on Nexus mods. So, there should be a lot more stuff to do and see. Armored vehicle spotted. Target is Good shot, guys. Target applied. Him. Good shot, fellas. I'd turn around, but it's super cool when you walk away from the explosion, right? Alright, high ground or low ground? Let's take high ground. Who knows? Looks like we're just going to turn a corner anyway, but we'll see. There's somebody down there. They're in a world of hurt. How's everybody looking? Boar's head's taking a couple of shots. That's about it. Huh. Uh, come on. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> oh, missed him. Didn't lead him enough. That's... Goodness. We'll turn just a bit. There we go. So I wish the crab... Twist it a bit faster. And our arm is orange, that's not great. I should be back a bit more. 600 for the LBs. And if anybody gets close, hit them with the SRMs. It's okay. This playthrough is coming to an end, and I'm feeling a bit more reckless. Oh man, okay. Alright, we'll worry about... Yeah. We'll use some SRMs on this one. Good. Alright, get on out of here. Scrap. Can 
I get you? Yeah, maybe a little. There we go. How am I looking? 20 shots. How's the map looking? Okay, so we're we're getting close. I might want to <laughs> for some reason. Yeah, we're gonna wait here for a sec. The AI will run the mask full blast. Damage the mech, doesn't care. So let's give that a bit. So ER on the one, AC-10 on the two, LRM's on the three. All right, that's good. We'll give the crab back to our AI there and let him uh, manage ammo. He's gonna be a little better at it than I am. I'll try out the Zeus. If we get a little bit desperate, we may have to leave the crab. I wonder if we could take that four up to a six, add a couple of bins for the LB. Mags on scope, get ready. New target, Phoenix Hawk. Destroyed. Okay, we'll go that way. Twenty nine shots on the AC, so I think we're okay there. Target acquired. Yeah, you get the you get the ECM towers. That was the that was the trick to coming through this way. Not quite as much punch on the Zeus here. That's okay. Cannot comply. Invalid target. There you go. How about everybody get going? I'll slide up here a little bit and come to a stop and let everybody come to me. Because it looks like one of our boys is having some maneuvering problems. And the crab. Come on. Uh, you know, on me does not mean run your ass up there, Cotton. Come on. The last structure is dead ahead. You'll be in the thick of its trace. Destroy it quickly. All right. Frustrating that you cannot target stuff like that sometimes. Alright, you guys get the VTOLs, I will just run over this thing. shot guys I hear him there he is very good
We're gonna go a little slow just for the crab. Twenty-three shots on the auto cannon, infinite on the ER, so we're okay. We should use a little bit more, a few more LRMs. So we're coming up to here to the end. I think they come shooting straight out. I think this, yeah. Commander, I, I just finished decoding the data. I, I know who's responsible for the attack on my father. I don't believe it, but it's my own family. Estranged cousins. They fled the Federated Sons long ago after a failed attempt to usurp my grandfather. They appear to have taken refuge in the Draconis Combine, supplying House Kurita with classified information about my family in exchange for clemency. The pilot of the victor that attacked my home? It's my cousin, Henrik. He aims to kill my father and take the throne for himself with the backing of the Draconis Combine. Uh, we're gonna wreck Henrik here. You have to stop them. Commander. A puppet of the Draconis Combine ruling over House Cole would destabilize the entire region. Hey, man. We have to put a stop to these usurpers now. Don't run in front of the lasers. Whoever you are, you have no business robbing me. Get that Orion. By aligning yourself. I'll wreck the stalker as best I can. You have only sealed your fate. You will be the first to die in my ascension to the throne. You're monologuing. Alright, let's... There we go. Everybody on the stalker. There's the victor, you guys go get him. I'll light up these guys real fast. I say real fast. Come on, there we go. Pop your top. Well, you're just about out of here, son, so. Facility has gone cold, Commander. No other hostiles detected. How's everybody looking? One more thing. Incoming okay. transmission from Samantha. Hey, that was really Ooh, lost a large laser. Ouch. This plot against us has been in the work for generations, and now it's finally over. Thank you. Thank you for. <laughs> Look at me getting all sentimental. Well, a deal is a deal. I'll head back to my father, and I'll make sure you get a little something extra for your efforts. Nice work, Merc. Cool. Let's... Anytime now, game. There we go. Alright. Not a fan of the Zeus. It's okay. I don't like the torso mounted. You can't can't aim at the sky. That hurts. It's okay. Just means different play style, right? You have to prioritize stuff differently. You can't shoot up like that. Wow. Really nothing I'd want to pick there. That's not bad. We'll take the 20 just for cash. Uh, unless... Just looking. Yep. That's all nose. That hurt. That large laser wrecked us. It's okay. Thank you, Commander. Your aid has been absolutely critical in piecing together and stopping Henrik's plot to unseat my family. With Henrik killed, the Draconis Combine no longer have a co convenient puppet in their pocket to lay a claim to, this, uh, to the Ramon system. While I doubt those snakes will give up their aspirations to conquer our land or expand the Combine's border, Henrik's death makes it clear that House Cole will never make it easy for them. We've taken a copy of Henrik's mech data core and will be giving it over to the Federated to the Federation's Ministry of Information, Intelligence, and Operations, MEO. With any luck, Director Quintus Allard will be able to extract more info from it that might help prevent a future attack. As to the mech itself, please keep it on behalf of House Cole in addition to your negotiated payment. House Cole cannot keep it as it is evidence of our raid into Combine space. 
Such a unique mech would be impossible to hide, and we cannot risk word getting back to the Combine that we were involved in an attack on one of their systems. So it's all yours. Safe travels, Commander. We'll go look at that in a sec. That is the Basilisk, I think. Marshy blows. It's not in terrible shape either. Let's bounce to a system where we can... Alright, so no heroes. Let's hit another system, like right here. Oh no, should have repaired. It's okay. Let's see if there's a hero in the system. Anybody? Nothing doing. Alright. That's alright, we can look at her back now. Two solids? Uh, we must have hit that first, because he sure didn't hit us very hard. ECM, that's great. That's a good get. And then streaks. Do not like the streaks. Don't want to have to missile lock to fire SRMs. Still, if they're going to hit because you've got a lock, that's that's not a bad trade-off. A couple of mediums in the arm. Yeah, not bad at all. Uh, I may strip it, though, and repair it. 2.5, sure. We'll do that. Uh, we'll queue that up. Everybody else going to get repaired. Can I fix you? I can. That's great. And you need... You need a change. So this build was pretty good. I liked it. Let's see if we can get a six in there. Like six Artemis? You're four tons versus three tons. Okay, so we're gonna put a six in there. And we can put another bin. Oh wow, I don't have another one. Okay, that's fine. I put two halves in there. Put a half there and a half there. Okay. Yeah, for a personal, that's pretty good. I like it. We'll take the six instead of the two fours. And one more bin. So for an extended mission, that's pretty good. Yeah, right on. So, next episode, I don't know. We'll see. Let's bounce over here in Marlow just to go. Get our repairs done. I may pick up another transmission or two while I play with mods just to make sure everything behaves. Or the next one might be a modded playthrough. We'll have to find out. If you've got any tips or tricks for me, I'd love to hear them. And as always... Thanks for watching.